I got a question for you. What browser do you use? Is it Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Internet Explorer, Microsoft Edge? Well, it doesn't matter what browser you use. I'm going to show you how to gain access to your favorites across browsers by importing your favorites into the Edge browser, giving you that unique browsing experience. We're also going to show you something that no other browser in the world can do, and that is pin your favorite websites to the start menu. Yes, we're going to show you how to do that as well. Before we do so, if you like the content, hit the like button, comment in the comment section if you have any questions, and then don't forget to subscribe to K Perry Global YouTube channel. One word, let's get into the content. Hit that button. We are now on the Microsoft Edge start page. I'm going to show you how to create a favorite in Windows 10 using Microsoft Edge. First, we have to select a website. So I'm going to type in in the URL window or in the search window, msn.com, select enter. I'm going to navigate over to the star here, which is add to favorites or a reading list. I'm going to select the star. Once I select the star, I have favorites. I have reading list right here. But since we're focused on the favorites, I'm going to select the X. I'm going to rename this. And so instead of Bing latest news, latest videos, I'm going to call it msn.com. So we're going to save in a particular folder. You can also add a new folder. So we're going to create one. So we're going to select create new folder. And I'm going to call this web pages. Once I type in web pages, I'm going to select enter and then add. And now I just added msn.com to my favorites. Now, if I want to take a look at my favorites and see where it's located, just to make sure that I have it, I can select favorites. And then you see my new folder here web pages and then there's msn.com so when I click on msn.com it's going to continue on to the msn.com page all right now how do you import your favorites from other websites a lot of you are using browsers like Google Chrome Firefox Mozilla Internet Explorer so how do you gain access to your favorites from those browsers and import into the Edge browser. We're going to select the ellipsis here, which is settings and more. And then we're going to go down to settings. Once I select settings, you're going to see transfer favorites and other info import or export so what we want to do is we want to import so I'm going to select import and then you have import your info you have three browsers here Internet Explorer Chrome or Firefox now keep in mind if you don't have of uh, these browsers on your PC at the moment then you won't be able to import so if you have those browsers downloaded onto your PC then those browsers will show up right here. Now select the browser you would like to import. Let's go with Chrome. Select Chrome. What this does is import your bookmarks, your browsing history, cookies, passwords, and settings. So you have everything that you need from the previous browser to add to your Edge browser. So I'm going to select Import. OK. So it says all done here. That's the visual aid, letting you know that it's all set and ready to go. And if you want it to view your imported favorites, you can select view your imported favorites, and then they show up right here in your favorites tab. Okay. So your bookmarks, other bookmarks, mobile bookmarks, your settings, all that stuff is right there for you. I'm not sure if any of you remember Start Menu Part one when we talked about how to pin and unpin tiles from the start menu well what if I told you that with Microsoft Edge 
you have the ability to pin a website onto the start menu. Yes, I said it, pin a website onto a start menu. Okay, we are now on uh, msn.com. So what I'm going to do is show you how to pin a website to your start menu and then also your taskbar. In order to do so, we have to select the website that we want to use. Right now, we're currently on MSN, so we're going to use, uh, let's we'll just say Nike, for instance. I'm going to go to Nike.com, enter. Now we're on the Nike.com website. We're going to go to the ellipsis or settings and more. Left click. Then we're going to scroll down to more tools. Once you get to more tools, you have a drop down menu. And then we're going to select pin to start. Once we select pin to start, it's going to prompt you to make sure that this is what you want to do. Do you want to add to start? Yes. Select yes. And then we're going to select the start button, which opens up the start menu. And there is our web page, the Nike web page right here. And what's cool about this, I have a MSN web page here. You can create a whole nother category called favorite websites. And so you can have a category there that has all your favorite websites. So you don't have to go to your browser in order to gain access to your favorite website. Now let's try this out. So I'm going to close out the Nike page and then I'm going to go back to my start menu select start select Nike and then it opens the Nike web page same thing with pin to taskbar same feature you just go to the ellipsis go down to pin this page to the taskbar select pin to task and then you would notice in your taskbar Nike logo shows up in the taskbar. And once again, if I close this web page out and I wanted to access this page without going to the browser, I can select the Nike logo on the taskbar and then it opens up the Nike web page, which no other browser in the world gives you the ability to pin your website onto the start menu. That's it. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Talk to you soon. Thank you for watching. Really enjoyed showing you some cool features in Microsoft Edge and how to gain access to your favorites across browsers. If you like the content, feel free to hit the like button. Keep the comments coming in the comment section right. And then don't forget to subscribe to K Perry Global YouTube channel. Yes, K Perry Global YouTube channel. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, cut. All right. Okay. I'm, I'm gone. I'm gone.